Welcome back. The next question that we are going to revise is under constant difference. Wilma is 7 years old now and her father is 37 years old. In how many years time will she be one third as old as her father? Okay, so how do we know this question falls under constant difference? Alright, so under constant difference, the difference remains unchanged. Alright, so when you see questions, they are linked to age. Alright, one concept to know is the age difference between two people will always be the same. Right, because when Wilma grow by one year, her father will also grow by one year. Okay, so that's why the difference between them will always be the same. And that's why the concept tested will usually be constant difference. Okay, so since we know the difference is the same, let's find the age difference between Wilma and her father. Alright, we take uh, 37 minus 7, alright, you get a difference of 30 years. Okay, it means that the father is 30 years older than Wilma. And now, the question says, in how many years time will Wilma be one third as old as her father? Alright, one third means that Wilma will be one unit, while her father will be three units. Okay, and since we know that the difference between them will always be the same, alright, so therefore, this will be the difference. Okay, so two units will be equal to 30 years. Alright, can you remember? We have found a difference earlier on. And one unit will be 30 divided by 2, which is 15. Okay? So when Wilma is 15 years old, her age will be one third as old as her father. Make sense? Right? Because when Wilma is 15 years old, she will be one third as old as her father. Okay, but the question asks for the number of years' time. Okay, and how, how old is Wilma now? Right? Wilma is 7 years old now, right? Okay, so since Wilma is 7 years old now, to find the number of years later, you need to take 15 minus away 7 and the answer is 8 years time.